Hey guys, it's Kira here. I'm back with another video and this is the real day in the life of an animation student. Finals week, how it's really like. And I, I'm an animation student in a community college, so it's not gonna be like those fancy college vlogs and I'm so exhausted and uh, I'm tired and I'm stressed. So this video is gonna not have some fancy editing. So let's get right into it. I'll start off with my outfit for that day. This is me. I feel really cute that day. I normally don't dress up for class, but today I was feeling it. And uh, here's some of my classmates' work. This is my digital arts and design class. And for a final, we have to create a character turnaround of two original characters from a pre previous assignment. And I'm going around and showing you guys some of my classmates' work since I was kind of stuck on that assignment a little bit. And also, um, tying that assignment to my storyboarding class and I'm showing you guys uh, everybody's Instagram and I'll link everybody's Instagram down below. Um, this is another classmate um, that's doing their storyboard in After Effects. I'm like that's such a good idea because you could separate the layers. Ah oh, man, speaking about storyboarding, I'm behind on a couple of storyboards so I really have to ace this final to get a passing grade in this class. So I really enjoy my classmate. There, there's so much talent in this class and so much a variety of artwork and the way people tackle things since for the most part we have a lot of creative freedom in how we tackle things and i'm so thankful for our professor the semester because last semester i didn't it was, it was really really bad so this is the angle of me working i don't have anything ready to show you guys yet but i'm really excited to show you guys in like a month my final animatic for that class since i'm using those same characters and here's the rest of the vlogs that i need to edit the previous vlogs because since this is a mini series so subscribe for more as well as my setup tour which i filmed last week and i had a, haven't had a chance to edit it because i've just been so busy and stressed Yes, this is fun, but this is these these assignments are so time consuming. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys that in uh, the rest of the classroom. And it's really nice not everyone draws on the big Cintiqs because when I saw those, I was like, ah, oh, man, I need to draw on the Cintiqs. But this one classmate, I, I don't know which device they're using, but I do know that they're using Krita. So if you guys want to know more, I can try to asking them again next class, which will be tomorrow for me. So hopefully I can get this video up since that's why I did this rough edit, guys. The first vlog of the series is up in the cards right here and I had more fancy editings with b-roll and stuff but oh man I've been so behind on a lot of assignments and um yeah <laughs> I just been so I hope you guys really and I hope you guys enjoy this view of my different classmates and their work ethic this back row of uh, students um I didn't really get a chance to know everyone's name so I'm sorry I don't have so much commentary uh to say about that I'm just like amazed because I'd be stuck in art blocks man especially for storyboard where i have to draw a lot of things out of my comfort zone and it's nice a lot of people in my class use procreate everybody in my class use procreate and the thing is they in they export the indi individual frames into our storyboarding software and i feel like that's so time consuming because i know apple doesn't have the best file management so props to my classmates who does because they end up creating fantastic work i don't think i have uh, I don't think I have the work ethic for that. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to put my final storyboard together and how to organize because file organization is key and that's what the professor in this digital arts class stress which is name your files properly guys like I drew the background in class and um I didn't name it properly so when I went home and tried to finish it I could not find it and I was losing my mind so guys a way to to save stress name your files properly and here's another drawing from another classmate I really like her character designs and stuff it's really nice to see like oh man like you know i i really i don't see this much stuff like this on youtube so i hope you guys are enjoying this because the type of animation vlogs that i do watch i do see on youtube is from prestigious art schools this is community college so there's a lot more variety in art style and people that go here because art school they pick people it's like a process where they're like oh you're accepted or not compared to here everybody's open first come first serve so I really like the group that we have here. Everyone's super passionate. Everyone's like talented and in, in like very different degrees of their 
very different little stages of their art journey which which is good because a lot of the time i feel like so insecure about my own art guys you guys don't know like there's so much things i don't know how to draw outside of three quarter anime girls and so it really inspires me and motivates me especially seeing some of my other classmates that like some people have n had no drawing skills before this class and seeing how they improve towards the end of the semester has been so inspiring everybody wants to get better everybody is inspiring each other everybody has like ah it's it's, it's, it's pretty nice it's pretty nice even on days where i'm feeling super low it's really i and the drive is to school is really really far for me since this is all the way in miami ah uh, man it makes it worth it i'm happy that classes are no longer remote uh i really do appreciate just being able to walk around and get some inspiration talk to people about how they do things how they organize things how they organize their layers which programs that they use for this specific class the digital arts class our professor prefers us to use photoshop so that's why a lot of the drawings that you guys are seeing here from my different classmates they are in photoshop but there are some people that you guys saw are using their own devices i know besides clip Besides uh, Procreate, Clip Paint Studio is another popular software, and I've listed everyone in like in between because <laughs> I made them right on it because in case I forget. And this is also a good look back video, so I'll leave everybody linked down in the description because I definitely want to keep in touch with everyone and see how we do in the animation industry. And I'm gonna go head to do my work. And I'm so sorry, guys. There wasn't a video last week. There's just so much stuff going on on top of uh, school. I work full time and there's just not extra time for for YouTube after school work. So that's me at the end of the day. And uh, yeah, that was my, my outfit. I, I, I like this jacket I was wearing. So that's why I, I showed it in. Uh, and I hope you guys like this clip because I thought they would make the story go along much better. But I don't know. I'm not I'm not a vlogger to YouTuber thing. I'm trying to, but join my art discord server internet artist support group if you guys relate with any of these struggles in this video and um my next couple of videos will be much better structure and um yeah catch you guys in the next one bye